this this product we call the lighting passport, and uh, uh, it is the worldwide first handheld spectrometer that you can uh, combine with your iOS device. For example, uh, iPhone, iPad, and iPad Touch, and the, that you can turn your iPhone become a, a micro spectrometer. Uh, when we turn on the lighting passport. Uh, you can start the uh, app called Spectrum Genius. When you open the Spectrum Genius, go to setting first to make the Bluetooth pairing with your devices with the lighting passport. Right now, do Bluetooth pairing. After that, you can go back to the main menu. And before measurement, we suggest you make a dark calibration. So turn the cover. Uh, of make a dark calibration. Right now, after dark calibration, you can start any measurement. Uh, let me show the single measurement. You can check all the parameters you want to check about your light source, LED lighting, for example, CCT, CRI, R1 to R15, CQS, for candle, and the most important, spectrum, and the some color standard you can check. Next, right now you can just point to the light source or uh, check the uh, lighting environment. Major. Right now you get the so uh, uh, complete data, CCT, CRI, CQS, everything. The R1 to R15, color code rates, the spectrum. Okay. And also you can save the measurement data uh, by taking a picture. So we can uh, take a picture, <coughs> use the picture, so that uh, your measurement data is connected to the picture. You know which light source you measured. Right now you can save. We can go back to the main menu. And uh, besides single measurement, we also have a multiple. Multiple can let you compare different light source or LED lighting. S still the same, you can check all the items for measurement. Start measure and you can get first measurement data, second measurement data, third measurement data, fourth measurement data. You can see the statistics to compare every parameters you want. CCT, the first time to the first time measurement data here. You can also see the CIE graph code rates. Full data comparison, okay? Besides, if you want to know uh, how stable or what the uh, changing situation of your light source, you can choose the continuous measurement. You can set up the measurement period, for example, one second at a time, and you measure five times. Check the whole uh, items you want to measure. Next, right now, continuous measurement. Then it will measure every sec single second, one time. After saving, you can get the uh, information from the records here. You can also email to anyone else you want to share the information, okay? Such as this. Okay, I think that's the general function for lighting passport. But uh, uh, in some uh, special situation, you not only want to measure, but also you want to set some uh, data filter. For example, if you want to check your light source within some range of a color temperature or some range of a color rendering index, you can just set up the uh, range in the data filter. And after the measure, you can check every light source is within or out of the spec you set. Right now, uh, Lighting Passport, the optical resolution is about 8 nano, 8 nano optical resolution, which is the highest of the handheld spectrometer all over the world. And uh, 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 we also have uh, the uh, accuracy for color code rates, it's plus minus 
point zero zero two accuracy. And uh, I, I think it's a uh, uh, wonderful and uh, the best tool for LED lighting measurement right now all over the world. We are confident. Hope you can enjoy lighting passport also. Thank you.